हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बीटा ब्लॉकर्स बाय प्रोफेसर सबा शेख सो नाउ फर्स्ट वी सी व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय बीटा ब्लॉकर सो बीटा ब्लॉकर वर्क बाय ब्लॉकिंग द एक्शन ऑफ सर्टेन हार्मोन इन नर्वस सिस्टम सच एस एड्रेनालिन सो इन शॉर्ट बीटा ब्लॉकर आर द ड्रग व्हिच ब्लॉक द एक्शन ऑफ एड्रेनालिन सो व्हाट हैपेंस विद एड्रेनालिन so by doing this they help to prevent the activation of fight or flight stress response so basically adrenaline is responsible for the fight or flight response so our drug that is beta blocker it will block the action of adrenaline and thereby inhibit the activation of this response so if the body releases high level of adrenaline so what happens when the body releases the high level of adrenaline a person may experience a rapid heart rate high blood pressure excessive sweating anxiety and heart palpitations blocking the release of this hormone lower the stress on the heart and thereby reduce of thereby reduce the force of contraction of the heart muscle this is the reason why beta blocker are used for the treatment of diseases which is related to the cardiovascular system because it reduces the stress on the heart and also reduces the force of contraction of the heart muscle the example include propranolol atenolol labetolol esmolol and sotelol so now we'll see the mechanism of action of beta blocker so beta blocker so normally norepinephrine bind with the beta receptor and lead to the activation of g protein that means beta receptor is a type of g protein coupled receptor so when norepinephrine bind with the beta receptor it activate the g protein this g protein then activate adenyl cyclase this adenyl cyclase then convert atp to cyclic amp now this cyclic amp is responsible for the activation of protein kinase a this activated protein kinase a lead to the phosphorylation of l type of calcium channel due to this phosphorylation the calcium channel will open and calcium goes inside or to the intracellular in the uh, in the cell this calcium then lead to the contraction of the heart muscle so our drug basically a beta blocker it will bind with a beta receptor and ultimately inhibit this entire process so beta blocker blocks the beta receptor and thereby inhibit the contraction in a state of contraction relaxation will occur due to which it will help in the treatment of cardiovascular diseases now we'll see the pharmacokinetic of beta blockers so well absorbed after oral administration propranolol undergo extensive phosphorus metabolism due to which the low oral bioavailability is there beta blocker are primarily metabolized by liver and water soluble beta blocker for example atenolol are excreted unchanged via kidney now we will see the uses of beta blocker it is used in the treatment of hypertension angina pectoris myocardial infarction and congestive heart failure so this is all about the beta blocker thank you